There's a place where extremists gather to talk shop. Right now it's closed for business, but if history is any indicator, it'll be back again soon in one form or another. We're talking about 8chan. It's a website linked to the El Paso massacre and also two others before that. So how do you stop message boards for potential mass shooters? Contact 7 investigates Jace Larson traveled all the way to Mexico City to get answers. There is a single little known website that may be partly responsible for some of these mass shootings. In at least three of the mass shootings, the shooters went on the website and interacted with other extremists before they went on their rampage. This guy might not look my name's Robert Evans like an expert in homegrown extremists, but his world travel schedule sure does back that up. Ten days ago, he was in Syria. Before that, Mosul, Iraq. And we met him this week in Mexico City. And I study how terrorist groups use the Internet to radicalize and recruit. Since a shooter went on a rampage in March, killing 51 people in Christchurch, New Zealand, Roberts devoted much of his time to studying how three mass shootings were connected all to this website. It's called 8chan. 8chan went from a bunch of disaffected, misogynist uh, video game fans to outright neo-Nazis. It's a place that users come freely to post what they want, including violent, anti-Semitic, racist, or pro-white nationalism images. Robert was among the first to find a connection between 8chan and the Christchurch massacre, the Poway Synagogue shooting outside San Diego that injured three and killed one in April, and then the shooting in El Paso this last weekend. In each case, it appears the killers left either manifestos on 8chan or posted there before the killings. On 8chan, killing is likened to a video game where the phrase beating his high score refers to anyone who can kill more than the previous killer. The Christchurch killer live-streamed his bloodbath with a first-person point of view from his helmet cam. There's a reason that the Christchurch shooter live-streamed his massacre for the people at 8chan. There's a reason that he put together a music list that was full of songs that were like related to in-jokes within that community. On the website, users cheer on one another. They also talk about something that's called replacement theory. That is their concern that the white race could be totally eliminated as more and more people come from Mexico and other Central American countries. It's this idea that white people are going extinct because of immigration. Um, and I should, I should state very clearly that it's completely untrue. Years ago, their fears might have been considered irrational, but now sometimes posters feel legitimized, Robert says, by some recent tweets from politicians. Those include one by Senator John Cornyn of Texas, who posted a headline of a news article that read, Texas gained almost nine Hispanic residents for every additional white resident last year. His spokeswoman says he simply retweeted a headline. But then there's this from Representative Steve King of Iowa, when he tweeted, we can't restore our civilization with someone else's babies. We reached out to King and he has yet to respond. Robert says these messages can be every bit as dangerous as the ones ISIS or Al Qaeda might send, and we should be treating extremists like organized terrorist groups. I think it's just as dangerous, and I think the fact that there's closing in on 80 people dead in the last five months is all the evidence that you need of that. When I saw the links to that manifesto, I was completely unsurprised. University of Northern Colorado professor Cliff Leak says these groups know how to recruit, especially likening their missions to video games. Especially for younger men uh, who are, you know, in their adolescence, a time where, where many of us test our boundaries. And if we enter a space like that where we are suddenly anonymous and there's no one there to push back against that and say, no, that's unacceptable. And instead we're in a space where uh, as we push those boundaries, we get celebrated for it, then it almost became, becomes like one-upmanship. Robert predicts the shootings won't stop as the notoriety continues to build for these shooters. Do you have concern that just by us talking about this and, and putting this on television that it's going to somehow benefit these extremists? I tried not talking about this. A lot of people tried not talking about this, and now dozens and dozens of people have been shot dead. So it's one of those things where I think I know what not talking about this looks like. Well, since we shot that interview in Mexico City, the website 8chan has been down, then it's been back up again, down, back up. As of this morning, though, users could still access part of the site. Just disgusting.
disgusting stuff, Jace. It's very interesting to see how they are perhaps recruiting people using some of the video game uh, discussions there. It's so disturbing, but is there any way to permanently shut these sites down? Well, so the site is not hosted here in the United States. That really limits what can be done here. Uh, so it's a very difficult thing in terms of will that ever happen? Might they just go somewhere else? I think the experts are unanimous in saying even if you shut down one website, they're going to find somewhere else to go. It does seem to be the pattern here. Thanks for that reporting, mm -hmm. Jace Larson, tonight.